with me right now, David Perry, uh, a, a dear friend of Lynn Spaulding and the Spaulding family spokesperson, joining me from San Francisco. Mr. Perry, I am so sorry. You know, my mom just, just got out of the hospital yesterday. And when I was at work or taking care of the twins, I never had the idea, will she get lost and die in a stairwell in the hospital? That never occurred to me. How it, is her it, family it, it is reacting? It's horrible beyond imagining. I mean, it, it is difficult to... It is difficult to imagine a situation of more chaos, and I, I really don't use this word lightly, but more indifference than the case of Lynn Spaulding. I mean, you know, uh, I, I know you all don't talk about ages, so I won't, but, you know, Lynn Spaulding was the same age as my mother was when she died, and I just know what it was like for me. And thinking about her two kids, taking their mom in for, as you very wisely said, a, a very ordinary procedure, and then having her disappear, and then having her body found 19 days later, and now to find out in today's paper that we were told numerous times that a search had been done, and they didn't even look. With me is David Perry, a friend of Lynn Spaulding and the spokesperson for the family. Um, a 57-year-old mother of two goes into the hospital for a simple urinary tract infection. Somehow she goes missing in the hospital, which I don't understand that. This is San Francisco General Hospital. They see thousands and thousands of patients a day. Nineteen days later, she's found dead. We still don't have a cause of death. And it just so happens somebody saw her by chance at the bottom of a stairwell. Um, Mr. Perry, what was your reaction when you learned Lynn is dead? Well, I know it sounds strange, but my first reaction was, oh, my goodness, at least now we have the truth, because we had been searching her family and friends outside the hospital. And I, I just want to make a clear distinction between the sheriff's department, which has been completely unsatisfactory, and the San Francisco Police Department, who helped the family for two weeks because they were told by the sheriff's office that she wasn't in the hospital. So we all looked outside no. the hospital. Mr. And when Perry, we heard that she was dead, I thought, at least now we know. And Mr. Then Perry, when I, I am getting from, very that she was disturbing. in the hospital in a stairwell, it just turned to unspeakable horror. Well, that's not the end of it, Mr. Perry, because we've gotten information, and I don't know if the family has gotten this or not, that people heard a banging in the stairwell just be before her body was found. In other words, that suggests that she was disabled and she had been laying out there in that stairwell for God knows how long banging to try to get somebody's attention. Yeah, that is the latest that we, and of course, you're not releasing cause of death, David Perry. So we don't know what happened to her, David. No. The, the thing that is most disturbing, and, you know, I mean, <laughs> you do this for a living. You, you know how to investigate. Obviously, they want to be careful about releasing the cause of death. But let's be frank. If she was missing for 19 days, 17 mm -hmm. days from the time she left her room, we all hope, especially her family, that she died a quick death. If indeed Lynn Spaulding was oh. laying on that stairwell dying from starvation or something else. I, I mean, it, it really is. We're not talking, as you say, about Kabul. We're talking about San Francisco. This is, it, it, to, to describe the, the way that the Sheriff's Department handled this as a Keystone's cop episode is, is to give this a bit of humor when it doesn't deserve any. This is a complete nightmare for which someone needs to answer.